Hello everyone, and welcome to our final Aztec warrior. He is a male warrior, Tlacailel. He has the attack rate plus zero and plus two in front of him, leaning to the right, uh, a plus two to the left of him, and a minus one on the bottom left. Uh, right, so he has uh, seven health, three speed, seven experience, and zero strength, with the ability Ohui Petlachui. Uh, when you hit with a basic attack, the defender chooses to either get minus one to all of their rolls on their next turn, or for you to gain one life. If the attack was a critical hit, apply both options. Inexorable and cruel, Tlacailel elevated the bloodthirsty cult of Huitzilopochtli by dedicating the seventh reconstruction of the Templo Mayor to him. Alright, and of course, um, since he did all that, we have as our inspiration the deity Huitzilopochtli with um, 6 initiative and the ability Axito Moktli. At the end of each round, deal 1 damage to all adjacent non-fire warriors, the god of war, sun and death. He allowed the bravest man who had fallen in battle and the bravest woman who, who had died in childbirth to return to Earth as butterflies. Aww, isn't that sweet? Right, as our weapon we have um, the Tematlatl, which has 9 initiative, 1 strength, and the attack rate looks as follows. Plus 0, plus 1, plus 1 on the farthest end of the grid in front of you. Then right before that, plus 2 and minus 0 leaning to the right. Alright, so it's a bludgeon weapon, uh, ranged, one-hander. Uh, and it has two abilities. The first one being uh, Quilitli. You may you may use another weapon. Very easy. Very nice. And the second one, uh, Zotla Hua Shosholichli. If you hit with this weapon, the defender's next defense roll gets minus two. Aztec warriors used to heat the stones hurled by these slings to a scalding temperature. So that the missiles would burn through enemies upon impact. Ho oh, ho, that is pretty cruel. Yeah, Aztecs weren't known for their niceness in battle. Alright, and as our armor piece we have a torso piece. This time not uh, full body armor, but still just a torso piece. Six initiative, the uh, Ichka Huipili. With the ability Kwachikpali. Once each round, after you hit a warrior with a basic attack, your defense rolls against that warrior gain plus two until the start of your next turn. Ichka Huipili armor was constructed from linen and was usually soaked in brine, which toughened it significantly against the blows of an enemy. Alright, so it's just uh, linen armor. And finally, uh, we have a special item, uh, sorry, a special quest, I must say. Six initiative, the Xochival Votl. And it has the ability Aquiqualnes Kayotl, which is an action. Once each round, make a basic attack against an adjacent opponent at plus one. If the attack hits, gain one life. Otherwise, your attack rolls this turn gain plus one. Instituted as a kind of ritual warfare, the flower wars were waged to gain captives, whose blood would fuel the sun and postpone the end of the world. Yes, that is why they were capturing so many people. Not just to appease the gods, to postpone the end of the world. We should thank them. Thank you, Aztecs. So, uh, yeah, and thank you all for watching. Next time we will... Um, I don't know if I did El Gran Capitan, but if I didn't, we will do that, and otherwise we will skip right through to the Chinese. So see you all next week. Bye-bye.